everyone so welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing um, today I'm gonna be doing my February comparison of ipsy versus Sephora play box because I have a subscription to both and so I'm gonna do this thing where I compare the two that I get every month just so you guys can kind of gauge which subscription um, is better in my past experience with them, typically they'll have like really good months at the same time or one will be better than the other. And to talk about Ipsy first, they do send it in this really cute like pink envelope. Um, well, I'll show you the front because my address is on that. Um, and then it also, then there's the Ipsy app and you can find out every single month what comes in your bag, what you're gonna get. I don't usually check because I'm usually too tired to be checking, but Ipsy will come in a bag and then it'll have this card inside that's usually for every single month there's a new one and then you will get your little bag with your items in it. And Sephora does something pretty similar as well where they send you this Sephora um, play card where if you use this to buy any of the products that were sent to you, like the full size ones, you will get an extra 50 Beauty Insider points, which is always nice. Why not get some extra points while you're spending some cash, you know? Oh well. But, and then theirs will come with this whole little thing here like this, and it kind of explains everything that you should do or how to use the products that they send you, a little background on the products, just little things like that. So yeah, for Sephora, you it's a surprise every month you don't find out you can't find out what you're getting um, ahead of time. To me, that's fine. I like the surprise of it, so I don't really care too much. So yeah, so that's gonna be what I do every single month. I did already record the January one, but I feel like I didn't really explain it in depth about what the whole point of this little series on my channel was. So yeah, like there you guys go about the whole thing. I'm gonna upload the January one today as well, even though it's February. Um, it's Monday, so I figured why not do two videos in one day and one of them's already kind of like a month late anyways. Like I recorded it, but I just had other things that I wanted to put out there before I sent out the February one. So yeah, let's just jump to it. So for Ipsy this month, it came in this kind of denim with orange um, border bag. I'm actually not a fan of this month's bag. I usually really like their bags, but I am not a fan of it. And then it has the little like lip zipper thing that says Ipsy. This couldn't fit inside the bag so they put it outside the bag inside of the like bag that they send it but it is a fan brush from Royal and Lang Nickel and this is their BMD 300 so that'll be exciting let me open it up see how I uh, how I like it how it feels always nice to have a new fan brush for highlighting actually don't have one right now so this is really great I'm super excited about this um, it feels pretty nice. Uh, I like it. I think that it could do a good job. So we'll test it out in my next tutorial and like see how that happens. And so next I'm going to go inside of the bags to see what goodie they sent me. So they sent me this water-based skin illuminator called Lemmy Nude by Seraphin Botanicals. Came in this little box. Let's just open it up really quickly, see what's in here. Okay, so it looks like this, and I think it's just like a skin illuminator. Let me put a little bit on the back of my hand, if it'll come out. Yeah, it's just a skin illuminator. I probably just didn't even put enough because I just don't want to illuminate right now. But yeah, I think it's like your average one, but it's supposed to be 74% water-based, which would make it different from the others. They sent me a NYX butter lipstick and this is in the color lifeguard i hope that's the color so let me do a little quick swatch for you guys on the back of my hand what that looks like it's a really nice color um and it's like a butter lipstick so it's not gonna like dry matte or anything so that's fine with me i could always use a little hydration right now especially during the winter time and then they also sent me this bella pierre volume lash waterproof mascara um, this might take me a while to open because I wanted to see what the handle, what the brush looks like in here because that's usually how I can tell if I'm going to like a mascara. It's usually the brush 
but I can't open this right now, so whatever. And then the last item that they sent me in here was a Be Fine Food Skincare Gentle Cleanser with sugar, mint, oats, and rice. And it came in this cute little bottle here. And I've gotten one of these before. And let me see if it's the same kind as the other one. And I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was a great exfoliator for my face because it was like sugar and honey. And I used it like about once a month. I meant to repurchase it. However, life happens and I just didn't. So I'm excited to have this one that I apparently can't open right now. So I'm not going to struggle on camera. So that was the Ipsy one. Not too bad. I like a couple of these products. I'm not really, I don't really care too much for the illuminator because I have really oily skin. So the last thing I ever want to do is illuminate. But I do really like the gloss that they sent me or the lipstick that they sent me. And I'm really excited to use that cleanser and to see what the mascara looks like. So moving on to Sephora. So this month, Sephora's box came in this really cute little um, satin bag. Oh, it matches my shirt or my jacket rather. So this is cute. I think they were trying to stick with the Valentine's Day kind of sexy theme. And in here, they sent me the Marc Jacobs Divine Decadence. They always send a little perfume sample with theirs as well. I think in Sephora's you get five, um, six samples, six items in your box. Mm, should I spray this? Let me spray it a little. Hmm, yeah, I like that. It smells really nice. Um, yeah, actually, I would definitely wear that. Mm, I don't know how to describe it. It just smells like sensual. So moving on, they also sent me the Sephora Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara. Let's just open. Hopefully, this is easier to open up than the other mascara I got. All right, so two mascaras this month. And, well, this one's a little bit tinier. I guess it's, like, meant to be more of, like, a sample. But let's look at this wand. Um, the wand is okay. I won't say that I'm the biggest fan of these type of wands. But I think there's some form of, like, twist to it. I like it. But I think this is, like, short. But we'll see how that goes. And what else did they send me? So they sent me the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Oh, I'm excited for this because I actually have been wanting to buy this because I love Clinique products. However, I just like didn't think like I needed it. But now that I have it to sample, oh yeah, that feels really good. Yeah, I came in this little tube here. What is this one for the whole face or just the eyes? I don't know. I'm going to try that out. Let's see what the box says. It's a moisturizer that will softly blur imperfections. I am so excited about that because my face is full of imperfections with these really, really large pores. They sent me a Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy, and this is in the color Milkshake. Ooh, I like this. This looks so cute. Looks like it's going to be a great topper for... Um, for the summer, um, you can't really see it because it is a lip gloss, so it's a little bit sheer. But it does look like it has like a little bit of sparkle in there, so that's really cute. I am so into that. And the last two items in the Sephora box are going to be this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and deep puff. Came in this little thing here. I've actually heard about this, so we'll see because my eyes are really puffy in the morning. So maybe I'll see if this works out for me. And then the last item that they sent me is the Velvet Glide from NARS. And it, it's in the color Bound. Velvet Glide. This must be a... Ooh, this is so pretty. Oh, the packaging is amazing. Oh, I love when lip, like lipsticks are in packaging that like will stand on its own. Uh, love this. Okay, so let's see what this is. I'm not sure if it's a liquid lip or a lip gloss. Well, it's... It's kind of like opaque. Just let me see if you guys can see that. Like it's this last one here. If you can't see it, crap. Um, it says it's a velvet lip glide. So I don't think it's like a liquid lip, but it's definitely a lip product. And it's a very, very pretty color. I am actually really excited about this. So in conclusion for this month, I think both boxes sent me some really, really great items, but for the month of February, I'm definitely going to say that I liked Sephora's items a little bit more, probably because um, there are a couple items in here that I, w I was wanting to try before, so I'm excited to try them now, and they sent me some, just some really great products. 
I'm excited to try those products. Like I like the Ipsy one and I'm really excited for the brush and the cleanser, but it was kind of basic to me this month and I wasn't really impressed, so it's okay. Um, so hopefully in March they step it up. I am gonna go review these products on my app so that they don't send me the same things again so that they know what I like versus what I don't like. So yeah, um, so that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate when you guys do that. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Have a great week. It's Monday. I just fell down the stairs this morning. So yeah, it's off to a banging start. See you guys next time.